Welcome back. Welcome back. Come on in. Sit down. Grab you a snack or something. Let's get ready to watch some film. This is the second film session of the week. Maybe the third. I don't know the order in which I'm going to do them and break them down. But this is the Suofilo joint from how we did from, you know, smoking the L.A. Rams uh, last week. So let's continue to get educated on the happenings. Um I just want to let y'all know, man, I had to go outside and I had to run some wind sprints to get my wind up. I had to do some push-ups to get my blood flowing. Oh boy. I had to find a chalkboard and I had to write a hundred times consecutively. I will not hate on Suofilo just to condition myself, just to condition myself to do this film session here. I want Suofilo to be great. Sometimes he just ain't. You know what I mean? And that 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 creates this weird relationship between me and him. But he did a pretty solid job versus the Rams. Now, let me explain how I'm grading this before we get started. I'm not grading Xavier Suofilo in the way that I'm grading his other four comrades here, okay? Like, if he pushed Aaron Donald 10 yards down the field, that would be fantastic. But if he only kept him at the line of scrimmage, that would be a good job for Xavier Suofilo. Or if he just barely blocked number 90, that would be a cool little job for Xavier Suofilo. I want to grade him in the name of gratitude that i'm grateful for what he did not in the way of my normal vach hate uh for what he didn't do and um what he did really really well this game was he hung in there he kept fighting and he scroll back up he kept fighting and he hung in there let me uh rewind this one time right he didn't do much very spectacular, like in the way that I'll stop and highlight, hey, y'all, look at Tyron Smith and what he did. Look at Zach Martin and what he did. This ain't that kind of rodeo for me and Xavier Suofilo. I want to show you a handful of times where I thought he did a pretty good job. I want to also show you how the Cowboys neutralized Aaron Donald in general because there were some times where uh, Suofilo was uh, was left on an island where he was led astray, but he did get help uh, from different portions of the offense. So I'll be breaking that down as as well but we're not gonna hate on him today we're not gonna say nothing negative about xavier suofilo uh his hands weren't perfect right here he was in this hand fighting exchange aaron donald fights with knives maybe we need to uh go to amazon and send some knives to xavier suofilo house but aaron donald won the hand fight exchange he won the speed off the ball exchange the quickness he got to the outside shoulder he got to the outside hip suofilo is beat right now but i give him credit because we grading him on a curve and what he did was he fought and he didn't get us killed and getting rid of the ball quickly probably helped us with that let's keep watching so of course Suofilo didn't do it all by himself I mean this is this is offensive line that we predicate this thing on one-on-one -on -one matches and combos you know sometimes we get combos and double teams um but uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do it all alone. There, there will be some situations where uh, Xavier Suofilo will be getting help. He's the left guard for those of you that didn't know. Um, there will be situations where he would be getting some help, and we got a little. Hey, man, look, <laughs> listen, Travis. Hey, Travis Frederick, <laughs> boy, look. You want to? You want to know why he's 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 nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year award? You know, sometimes you just got to believe in charity. Sometimes you just got to believe in philanthropy and 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 donations and giving a helping hand. And boy, when Aaron Donald started to get three steps on Xavier Suofilo, Travis Frederick got his head back inside to give a little hand right there, just to give a little charity, to give a little donation right there to Xavier Suofilo to help to help lock uh, Aaron Donald up. And the reason I know this, let me pause it here, because by scheme, by design, by layout, just me looking at this blocking scheme here, this is supposed to be Travis and Zach Martin to number 91 and 58 in case he goes that gap. That's what it's supposed to be. So we're going to kick, and Travis is going to help with 91. Travis is going to keep his eyes downfield. 91 belongs to Zach. But I'm going to keep my eyes over there. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eyes on the Aaron Donald side because I'm the, I'm a nominee for the Walter Payton Man of the Year, and I might need to lend a hand. Merry Christmas, Avery Suofilo. Put some money in the bucket. Put some money in the bucket to help Suofilo out there. Fantastic play by Travis Frederick and okay from Suofilo by not getting killed so quickly. Let's see. Uh, what about this place, uh, Suofilo versus Aaron Donald? What about, what about this? Let's see what happens here. Nope, not going to head on Suofilo. We're not going to show this play. Moving on. 
This is a good block right here from Xavier Suofilo. Everybody's going to be outside zone blocking to the left. Suofilo is your left guard, of course, and it's his job to um to uh outside zone step, drop step here to the left so he can try to uh, get hands on 90 and, and, and hook him. And he did a pretty good job. He ain't hook him. He didn't get his hips all the way around there. Um, But he did kind of ride the back hip, taking 90 all the way out of the, the uh, back play. What do I mean by hook him? Take a look at what... um. Let's see. Take a look at what Leo Collins does to this backside three tech right here. Leo Collins, your right tackle. Look at this three tech. This is what I mean by hooking him, right? If we're going to run outside zone and we're running to that direction. Good finish, Leo. Oh, my goodness. Good finish, Leo. My God. But, yeah, that's what I mean. If we're going to be outside zone uh, blocking hooking, we want to get all the way to that front side shoulder because Zeke is going that direction. Now, Zeke ended up cutting it back or whatever, but, you know, just based on our blocking blocking scheme, what our responsibilities are, um, if this is number 90, you want Xavier Suofilo to be on the zero side of the jersey. But, hey, man, he kind of hung around on the 90 side, on the nine side of the jersey. This wasn't a terrible block. Um, he did what he had to do. And, and if Zeke would have kept this thing front side, just kind of trusted the process a little bit, um, these blocks got sealed up here. Uh, let's see. Zach got to the second level. Of course, his backside end got got taken care of by, uh, by you know, uh, Lael there. And, hey, Travis, you know, sealed up his block there. So Zeke should have kept this thing front side. But you live and you learn. Let's keep watching. <laughs> Sue Philo say, Sue Philo say, I'm going to get to second level. I'm going to get in front of this linebacker here. I'm going to touch his shoulder and not block him. Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to get to second level. Touch. <laughs> I'm just going to touch your right shoulder and that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to deliver a blow. I'm not going to pancake anybody. Just going to touch right shoulder. <laughs> touch. <laughs> but no, that's, that's, that's hating. Let me move on to a different play. That's, that's hating on Sue Philo. Let me, let me move. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the something cord. we did to Xavier Suofilo as well. Um, This is... uh. We back back in my day, we called it like a like a waterfall blocking technique or whatever. It's probably a better way to say it. It's probably a more NFL way to say it. But back in the day, when we would run certain plays to get the front side of the offense on the move, let me just run this to get the front side of the offense. Meaning, if we're running right, the front side would be the right side. So the front side of the offense, uh, the right tackle, right guard, center, this tight end here, they'll be moving to the right. But the back side, which is uh, the left guard, the left tackle, they'll do a waterfall technique where they'll just keep guys backside and just wall things off. And this is a great way to help Suofilo with his, with his blocking because this is you telling Suofilo, hey, you ain't got to block the hell out this dude because we're going to run the hell away from it. Just kind of cut him off and keep him from coming over here where the real smoke is. So if we watch the whole offense, then we watch how Suofilo is. Let's take a look. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting this thing to the outside. We're running the hell away from Xavier Suofilo, right? We're not running behind him. He's not making any um, impactful blocks here. He's just getting his hands on whoever he got to get hands on. But we're going to get a lot of movement on this front side. We're going to pitch this thing out wide, and we're going to um, keep – that that whole side of the offensive line out of the play. It's unfortunate that Tyron Smith isn't on the move because he's one of your better moving offensive linemen. But we got to do what we got to do to keep Suofilo out of the funk. That's ninety two there. Whoever that is, he's uh he's blocking there. But um this is basically what you want here. You want this to be your new offensive line. These five guys, Zeke the tight end and the 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 right side of the O line. You want this to be your new five versus these five guys to be your new box and everybody else just technically doesn't exist in this um in this uh blocking scheme it's a pretty it's a pretty smart way to uh to get guys involved and to keep guys from not uh from not making plays or whatever but hey if you learn something new go in the chat box and tell me you did how about this though i think everybody that helped suofilo at some point i think they um that it was very timing based just to see how he's doing earlier we we saw travis he looked over okay let's see if suofilo can block on this play and if he can't then i'll help i think the same thing happened on this play as tony powell as the running back in the backfield i think we're watching xavier suofilo to see if he can handle it and if it looks too bad for him we're just going to come up and just scrape a little bit
Uh, was the ball batted down a little bit? Yeah, it was batted down by Aaron Donald. Yeah, by Aaron Donald. But <laughs> I'm showing this play not to hate on Suafilo or to highlight Donald batting the ball down, but basically to to, to show different ways that we uh, that we kept Donald uh, from killing us or whatever. And if he's going to come off Suafilo's right side, then Tony's going to be right there to kind of help on that right side. You know what I mean? So that's that. <laughs> listen, y'all. Listen, it's so funny. Boy, we about to run the screen, and Suafilo is about to trot in the open space and fall this big ass down. He tried to cut this guy. That kind of sort of quasi, whatever. <laughs> but he he hit the ground, and he just kind of blocks two people. Just takes two people out the game. Just takes two people out the play just by his big ass being in open space. Yeah, this uh, backside guy came and tackled Zeke, but if this dude wasn't here, then this probably would have been a touchdown, right? I don't know if this is uh, praising Xavier Suofilo for blocking two people or that his huge body was in the way that it just simply obstructed two people from making a tackle, but it sounds like hating. So <laughs> we're not going to talk about this play no more because I don't want to hate on Suofilo. But I tell you what, man, me and Suofilo, like I said, early we have a very strange relationship but if i can respect anything about him the dude is a fighter he shows up to work and he fights he may get whooped it may not look pretty he may he may kick step like his shoes are tied together he may he may use his hands like they're handcuffed behind his back but one thing he's going to do is he's going to fight. He may go to the ground and get all the grass stains in his clothes, but he's going to try to stay in front of that guy as much as as he as he possibly can. We can't call him soft. We can't call him soft like he's just going to let some dude just have his way with him. Nah, like he's going to physically give everything he got. He's going to lose, but he's going to lose in a very effort-filled fashion. And that's the best you can ask for, man. That's the best you can ask for. Is he great? Nope. Nope. But uh, did he kill us? He did not kill us, and I think that deserves some props. Uh, so, shout out to Xavier Suofilo. Uh, this is another chapter in me and your complicated relationship. And, uh, hey, I hope you do good for the next six games because uh, you know, you know, I'll be watching. All right. Uh, with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching and all that. Um, salute to my patrons. Um, we're going to be doing merch giveaway for all the patrons, not just the $10 patrons. So go over there and sign up. Uh, we're going to get that going starting in January. We're going to do that every single month. Um, leave your comments. I may be, you know, trying to highlight some of those for the next video. Y'all tune in and, uh, we'll be driving film throughout the week. So y'all, you know, stay tuned and, you know, keep your eyes open, hit the notification bell. So, you know, when I drop all this random hot fire in the middle of the week, uh, the first hour of work is always the best. So I appreciate y'all for that. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Walsh and the Peace Key Whiskey, man. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.